I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Abs I woke up this morning. I was absolutely fantastic. He nailed him. He nailed him. He got him. He got him banged to rights for the first time. Owen Jones nailed in Ian Duncan Smith on Question Time and, and, and spoke like everyone heard it and, and told them about the effects their policies are having on the people of this country. This despicable, heinous coalition government and, and, and their abuses of the people. Owen Jones, up until that point, he had nailed the Palestinian issue. He had slaughtered the Israeli apologists. Charles Kennedy should be bloody ashamed of himself. Talking and all the rest of them, talking about Hamas and rockets. Owen Jones nailed the timeline right and he told the truth. He told the truth about the massacre of the people of Gaza and, and, and how, these, how these people, these despicable people stick up for Israel. And, 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 and Charles Kennedy actually wet himself. The man done a wee. He was sitting in it. Everyone's looking. Oh, he, had to, he said to him in his northern accent, that's so sad. Anyway, he moved on and then, and then it was just petering out into a dull 1-0 victory for Owen. And then, and then it happened. And then it happened at the end. This woman in the audience, because everyone gets to write down a question and question time picks, your, picks someone out of the hat and they go, yeah, that's a good question. And this week they came up with the, with, with the baby. And it's that, it's that Tory fucking agenda pitting the poor against the poorer. And this woman was reading out a question which said, why do we have to pay? Why do we have to pay for large families who are unemployed? Why do we have to pay for their kids? Uh, and, and, and they're spending all their dull money going out lavish, lapping it up, buying toys at Christmas for their kids, while the rest of us have got to sweat and grind and work. And, and, and they're all immigrants coming over here, taking our jobs, taking our schools and hospitals. And it was because Ian Duncan Smith had been talking about that, that, that heinous, despicable, racist, fucking nationalistic, fucking lunatic to pitting the poor against the poorer. And there he was, there he was trying to justify it, going, yeah, yeah, I agree, yeah, that's a very good question. That's a very good question, madam. And there he was, Owen Jones, uh, Owen Jones on the corner, the pit bull, just waiting. And he was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to tell you, I want to tell you about something about that question. You know that, that landlords, rents, these people have been smashed to pieces. You are out. Ian Duncan Smith, you work for the, 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 the Department of Work and Pension. You're responsible for Atos. You're responsible for disabled people being forced back to work. You're responsible for people dying of cancer, not being allowed Six months is the maximum you can get for terminal cancer. You're responsible for workfare, for the enslavement of the people of this country who, who are unemployed. You're responsible for stripping them of their dignity. You're responsible for leaving them destitute on the fucking street with their children fucking crying. And then Douglas Smith was trying to reply. And then he said, I want to name some names, says Owen Jones. And then Dimbleby jumps in and says, no, no, answer the woman's question about, about the housing. I told you about the housing. I told you about that 26,000 not going to them. It's going to ruthless fucking landlords because this government is too pitiful to provide any fucking housing. And the last government's the same. And then he was interrupted again. And he waited. Owen waited. And then it came. And then he said to him, listen, if we leave here tonight, and he looked at Ian Duncan Smith, I want to name two names to you. Brian McCarthy, a man 57 years old, who was had a stroke down one side, blind in one side. He was found fit to work by Atos. And the next day he was dead. And I want to tell you about Karen Sherlock, a woman who had fucking cancer, who was in fucking Northern Ireland. And what you've done to her. And she was dead. And she'd been found fit to work. And she bravely fought those fucking gits. And Ian Duncan Smith, he fucking lost it. Because he knew, he fucking knew it had been nailed. And he exploded like Beelzebub. And he was waving his fucking finger like that. And Owen just reclined in his seat. And I knew his little heart, his tiny little heart must have been pumping. Because he knew what he said. He knew. He knew it was the first time that these fucking gits had been actually told. They were told 
This is fucking wrong. You are wrong. You are the, that man here, Duncan Smith, is a fucking vampire. He has a heart of fucking darkness, like the rest of them. They have all got it. It's inherent in them. Their, their, their fucking tactic is ripping the heart out of the fucking poor. They want to smash the vulnerable. They are moving. They are moving public money into private pockets. They are, they are stripping people. 710,000 public sector workers fucking out the window. They are lining their fucking pockets. And they were fucking told, well done fucking Owen Jones. Ian Duncan Smith, you are fucking ashamed, mate.